This has got to be some kind of nightmare. I just hope I wake up soon. I'm the number two driver of the Akagi Red Suns, damn it! Doesn't that idiot even know this road? After this slow right is a sharp left. There's a ravine on the other side. He's got to hit the brakes. I knew it. That freaking idiot's going in way too fast. There's no room to slow down. He's going into that guardrail. Whoa! What the hell? Inertia drift? When does the magic begin? Now it's definitely been a hot minute since I made one of these videos. I say this because I like to believe that my taste in anime is pretty trash. And I know how much people prefer watching anime that becomes mainstream like My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, and many more. My taste usually goes from Initial D to Sifo Gear and from Sifo Gear to Jujutsu Kaisen. Because yes, Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely one of the hottest new anime that is currently out right now. And before you hit me with Jujutsu Kaisen is mainstream. No, it's not. The anime literally came out during the end of 2020 and it's still getting its feet wet as we speak. But right now, we're here in 2021. And of course, you already know, I'm extremely excited for the return of Uma Musumi Pretty Derby as Season 2 storm its way into my heart for Winter 2021. If you're interested in knowing about Uma Musumi, be sure to check out the video I made about it. Just keep in mind that Season 1 is based on the development of Special Week, while Season 2 will be based on the development of both Teo and McQueen. Anyway, today's anime recommendation will be none other than Skate to Infinity. Yes, sir! We're going to be talking about skateboarding because honestly, this anime is definitely a hidden gem and I know a lot of people aren't going to look into it due to it being a, you know, a different sports anime unless someone that is very popular talks about it in the long run. But I already know people not really going to talk about Skate to Infinity like that. Alright, so if there's two things I can say that got me hella hype and invested in to this anime from the very first trailer is the fact that one skateboarding has always been a guilty pleasure of mine despite that i can never get the hang of it but being able to see skaters having a fun time and just evolving constantly improving their style in their own unique way is just beautiful a lot of people don't think too much of skating but honestly it's a work of art that can't be shown to the average eyes. Well, at least that's what I like to think. The second thing is the fact that the concept of skate to infinity is honestly the fact that these skaters are racing. I mean, come on. It's not obvious, y'all. I legit make content for Initial D, which is a racing series. And the fact that I'm getting Tony Hawk downhill jam vibes from this anime, I couldn't help but not get into this show even more. Like, I feel like this anime will be a hit and miss to a lot of normies. But without a doubt, if you were to check out the first episode, I feel like you will actually get invested, especially when it comes to certain characters and their development. I know it's only three episodes at the moment, most likely four, depending on when I release this video. But from watching these three episodes of Skate to Infinity, I can definitely say that there is development within it. Like, it's pretty cool. All right. So from the very first episode, when checking out the first episode, I honestly thought that the main character would be Reiki from what I saw from the first trailer of the show. Of course, he is, but he basically gets body in the very first half of the episode. Sorry for spoilers, just letting y'all know, but he is indeed knowledgeable and has experience as a skater, but the skater he raced wasn't about fair play, you know, he wasn't about that lifestyle, which caused Reiki to lose. The concept to racing within the series is called S. S is basically a competition scene where all the skaters go to a, you know, where all the skaters go to this one mountain hill to have a hardcore no hole bar race where everything goes without saying. So think of skating, pretty much for my initial D people, think of freaking Shingo, but in skating form. That's literally what it is. Literally every dirty trick to throw you off your game even crashing you into a tree if you wanted to honestly um <laughs> i honestly like how the invitation of a race is called beef like i find it funny because people who are competitive will always have you know some ill vibes towards another that feels like hey i'm better or getting outplayed especially when they never had any type of interactions like you literally had that one person that'd be like i don't mess with this guy but 
you, you don't talk to him. Yeah, but I don't like his skill. That should be me up there, not him getting all the love, you know? So that's what they call beef. I like that. I really like that concept. Anyway, later on, we get an introduction of Longa, who happens to be a transfer student from Canada that's now attending Reiki school. The two of them linked up during the time Longa was looking for a job, which led to Reiki and his manager going out their way to give Longa a job. However, due to a mistake of bringing a customer the wrong skateboard, Longa was basically forced to race up against the same skater that Ricky lost to. Longa, who honestly never rode or pretty much, you know, shredded a skateboard, somehow managed to amaze everyone with his hidden talent of snowboarding. I find it quite funny that Longa literally has the similar personality of Takumi Fujiwara from Initial D. That's why I'm already like, okay, this show might be God. Like, hold up. Like, the similarities between these two characters is actually there, and it's fucking hilarious how i just found out between the first two episodes of this goddamn show both characters at first had no interest in the modern entertainment such as racing and skating but after getting involved for the first time began questioning themselves due to the enjoyment of the thrill takumi has been developing his techniques since junior high due to his father having him deliver tofu every morning for his shop while longa over here he's basically been snowboarding at a very early age with his father over at canada but soon stops due to his father's unfortunate death sorry for the spoiler right there not to mention both of these characters have no knowledge about the activities they soon got interest in takumi didn't know a damn thing about how a car works until he got interested in racing despite how similar they may be longa didn't know a damn thing about skateboarding until his very first race because the thing is longa has always been snowboarding and the concept between snowboarding and skateboarding is different to the fact that one has wheels and the other doesn't the only thing i hope is that he doesn't get any ass pull wins like Takumi did in the initial D. <coughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Yo, Sinji. I ain't gonna front. Sinji. He, Sinji kind of almost bodied him. I ain't gonna front. That low key would really kill the development of Longa's character. Just saying. But again, I really find it funny that these characters are similar. And I'm now even more honestly excited to see how far Longa's goes. Because I want to know how Longa going to be, you know, throughout the whole, you know. I don't know if it's 12 episodes or whatnot, but I'm just excited to see his experience. Uh, what take? I'm excited to see his experience throughout the series. But I do hope they give Reiki a chance to shine. Aside from him helping Longa learn how to skate and crafting a board that fits Longa's snowboarding skills. Because Reiki... He, he seems dope as hell. He's really nonchalant, carefree. Like, they make him seem like a dummy, but he has the word of wisdom. He understands how it feels to be a skater and just want to have fun with it. So, I really hope Ricky gets, you know, a little chance to sign. But, again, that Skate to Infinity, yo. I need y'all to go check that out if you ever get the chance. Again, especially for my Initial D people. If you guys like Initial D, go check it out. Like, at least watch the very first episode. That's what got me hooked. The very first episode. And then the second episode, you get the lore, the backstory, the longest character. But, you know, again, that's if you guys really want to. I really hope you guys actually take the time to go check out uh, Skate to Infinity. Because I really think it's worth watching at least you know in my eyes honestly but that's that's us oh, now one take yo oh my god I, I, I spoke too damn much anyway this has been your boy Tunnel oblivion i hope you guys are having a blessed day as always please please smack that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and with all that being said you guys have a blessed day i'm out Push me to the